There is a lack of equity in workload distribution among faculty members. The issue has been studied in many ways, including faculty surveys, annual faculty reports, interviews, and time diaries, and the problem is real. So what is happening? Women spend more time on campus service and teaching-related tasks. Underrepresented minorities spend more time mentoring and on diversity-related work. Over time, this means less time spent on tasks leading to promotion, less women and URM faculty retained, and less diverse faculty members in leadership roles. Why is this happening? One explanation is social bias. We ask the person we think is most likely to say yes and be accommodating. But the choice architecture surrounding how decisions are made to allocate work also plays a part. The Faculty Workload and Rewards Project is an action research project funded by NSF Advance. This research team works with departments to understand the problem of inequitable workloads. They want to uncover the reasons for differences in workload distribution, not just confirm that they exist. Importantly, the project works with departments to find solutions to improve the situation. A key focus for the research team? Change the choice architecture or backdrop within which decisions are being made. And reset default settings through new policies and practices in departments. For example, the team works with departments to make data on faculty work activities more transparent. They also help departments craft new policies and practices like credit systems, rotations of time-intensive roles, and differentiated workloads. The Faculty Workload and Rewards Project leaders look forward to disseminating what they have learned by working closely with departments to improve equity in workload distribution.